Welcome to the Watermill Inn. Oh, Richard, it is exactly as it was when we were married. And when I got married. Even the old patchwork quilt is the same. My great-grandmother made that quilt when Teddy Roosevelt was president. In those days when they made quilts, they cut patches from the old clothing of every member in the family so that each one would be a part of it. What a lovely tradition. Thank you for calling us. I remember you and your wife from the first time you stayed with us. We were very young. And very much in love. We have a baby now. How wonderful. A boy or a girl? A boy. Max. Do you have a picture? Would a professional photographer be without a picture? Oh, he's adorable. And very bright. Like his father. A real steward. And very good looking, like his mother. Well, it's nice to have you with us again. Next time, bring the baby. You see, Richard, Max is welcome here. Not on our anniversary. This vacation is for you and me. If there's anything you need, please call me. I'll be in the front office all day. Oh, I took the liberty of ordering some breakfast for you. Let's put it over there, Charles. Thank you, Charles. Compliments of the Watermill Inn. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, this is my idea of a good time. Let's see. Hot cakes and maple syrup with scrambled eggs. Mm, smell that coffee. Cinnamon and clove. Homemade buttermilk biscuits. Mm, slices of orange with burnt honey. Let's eat. First, I want to call home and check on your mother and the baby. Honey, if there were any problems, she would call us. She doesn't know we've changed hotels. You're right. Of course. Hello, operator. I'd like to call Riverdale, New York. This food is heavenly, isn't it? This whole place is heavenly. Do you remember that old desk? Mrs. Montefiore told me that George Washington sat at that desk and wrote to his wife, Martha. What do you want to do after breakfast? Why don't we take a walk down to the river? In the rain? No. Look out the window. The sun is shining. Now this is my idea of a good time.